Proverbs 12, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. Heed the counsel of the Lord your God in your life's decisions. Only a fool will bulldoze his way forward without seeking God every step of the way. Hello, I'm Dudley with God Tracker. The scripture makes it plain that the Holy Spirit is our counselor and our helper. Before Jesus was crucified, he promised that he would not leave us alone. He promised that he would yet be with us by the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers us for godly living. The Holy Spirit grants us spiritual gifts that we may draw closer to the Father. And the Holy Spirit is our advisor as we seek the plans that God has for us. Around 1994, my wife Karen and I developed the notion that God had a plan to move us to a new country. We had no idea where that would be, but we believed that he was moving us. So we did, as we always do, we acknowledged God and committed the idea to the Holy Spirit for his counsel. We proceeded then to knock on doors, as it were, by writing away to companies in English-speaking countries. We only received replies from Christian ministries in England. God, in his wisdom and foreknowledge, knew that the only country that we had the right to emigrate to was the UK. Both Karen and I have British heritage. So we continued to seek the counsel of the Lord as he opened the doors according to his plan for us. In 1996, we moved our family to England. Prayer and God-seeking is vital to the decision-making process in every believer's life. The Lord knows all things about all things, including your tomorrow. If you are faced with a new opportunity, then make the most of it with the wisdom of acknowledging God and seeking the counsel of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes he may guide you to people that you can trust for advice. However, any advice you receive from others needs to line up with the personal leading of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Remember, too, that the Holy Spirit does not work alone. The Holy Spirit's counsel always complies with the Word of God. Word and Spirit always work together. The Spirit activates the Word, while the Word confirms the actions of the Spirit. Heed the counsel of the Lord your God in your life's decisions. Only a fool would bulldoze his way forward without seeking God every step of the way. Keep your heart pure and your mind stayed on the purposes of God. As you face opposition in your tracking of the will of God, fix your gaze on Jesus. Jesus faced opposition to the will of God in his life, and he will help you in any opposition that you may face. He will guide you. He will counsel you according to the plans that he knows he has for you. God tracking is seeking the counsel of the Holy Spirit. If this has in any way touched your life, I encourage you now to join me in prayer. Don't give up. Look up and pray. Dear Lord, I'm faced with a new opportunity and I don't know what to do. I know that you have plans for my life, so I acknowledge you in this opportunity and I seek your counsel for the way forward. Open your word to me, O Lord, that I may find scripture to guide me in my decisions. Grant me your inspiration and your advice in my move. Help me to make the right decision. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed with me, I would love to stand with you in prayer. Write to me by email, dudley at surereality.net. Email me, dudley at surereality.net. God Tracking with Dudley is adapted from a weekly motivational thought called God Tracker. You can subscribe to God Tracker for free by email at the website surereality.net. God Tracking with Dudley is produced by a listener-supported radio ministry called Sure Reality. With your prayer and financial support, we can produce these radio programs, and these programs impact lives around the world. You could be part of that by partnering with us. Please visit the website surereality.net and click on Become a Vision Partner. From me, Dudley, to you, keep your eyes on Jesus and keep tracking the will of God. If you would like to reach me for any reason, you can do so at tpeters745 at gmail.com.